Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome back to day two of the Kaspersky Antivirus 2016 prevention test. I've got a few pieces of malware, by, by a few I mean just two, that I found from our uh, little anti-spam system today. Uh, it's kind of odd, we usually get more, uh, a lot more malware through our email, but uh, there's barely anything today at all. Which means I'll have to rely on the Malcode database. I, it's really hard to find malware sources these days. It's like it's got me wondering: Are people really getting infected that much anymore at all? So uh, it's just kind of odd. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can copy these. Uh, yesterday I could not. Uh, let's see if I can copy this guy over. And is that invoice? Yes. Yes. Okay. It was detected. Uh, okay. So it was detected and disinfected. Would that allow me to open it? Yeah, it's got no data in it at all. That's uh, disinfecting it. Let's go ahead and try this guy right here. No, it's <laughs> it stops copying and pasting uh, after a while. Hang on a second. Okay, well, this is sort of annoying. I can't actually copy and paste from one virtual machine to the other for some weird reason right now. So I'll have to figure that out uh, tomorrow or something. Uh, let's just go ahead and try to load up a few uh, malcode uh, samples. See what we get. Try to get you know, three to five. All right, this is from today. I do like to get uh, stuff that isn't exactly adware. Well, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't really discriminate. It's kind of hard to get stuff as it is. Well, yeah, you know, that's a good idea. Let's just go ahead and load it up with whatever. Whatever, whatever. If it actually loads, then maybe Kaspersky should. Lovely Pro Installation. <laughs> that sounds fun. We're gonna see what happens to this uh, to this VM um, by the end of the week, and I just uh, found out tonight that I'm gonna be heading to Chicago uh, on Thursday night. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna go ahead and speed things up or come back and resume um, this series uh, when I get back on um, Sunday uh, afternoon. I haven't been to Chicago since I was a kid, so. Uh... The wife is uh, some kind of business trip up there, and I'm going to tag along. I'm getting a hotel on something called the Magnificent... Magnificent? I can't even say that one. Some, some Mile Street. Magnificent Mile or something like that. I don't know why I can't say that word. But anyway. All right, so uh, there we go. There was an error installing. I think... Cass Kaspersky might have blocked that. I saw some kind of Kaspersky uh, thing pop up. Don't you hate when you're recording a video and there's a word that you can't freaking say and you try to say it like five freaking times? Damn, that pisses me off. I'm not even going to try to say it now. I'm not. Uh, okay, we'll just keep loading stuff until we find something that actually works. Sure, I'll run the Lion King. What the hell? Yes, open. LionKing.exe. Hell yeah. I don't care what it is, I want that. Hard reset. Oh, this is an actual... 
Okay. I'm just gonna go with this. Kick ass, actually. You know, I, I do have a gaming channel, but I wasn't planning on playing The Lion King right now. Wow. It's so easy to control and everything else. Oh, I can't jump. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that for a single second. Uh, Alright, this is still... We visited this site yesterday, I think, but uh, they have... Uh, Something new for today. Yeah, it was blocked. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to even deny that that was totally awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Denied. Denied. So, yeah. Ho hopefully I can get this whole uh, copy-paste thing worked out. I, I, from what I've read so far, I have to open up my... Um, malware vm where i can, where i download all my malware in um vmware player and then i can drag and drop easy enough so some more malware from today let's check this out oh, what is that uh documented vivid setup no idea what that is We'll just go ahead and install whatever is there. It's okay, you can come through, guys. Just don't make a bunch of noise. Oh, it's just you? Okay. The wife is down here. <laughs> All right, not sure what that actually did. Um, Still have my Lion King there. Mm, whatever it was, it wasn't detected as bad, so we'll just move on. Uh, here's an e a random EXE from today. Uh, people always ask me, can my computer get infected if I try to do what you're doing? Uh, use a virtual machine and load malware. Yeah, it can. Uh, but that's the risk I'm willing to take. Um, I have uh, many different uh, custom apps to kind of keep my stuff safe. And I use a, um, a special router for this kind of stuff. All right, it's just blocking everything from today. I mean, these things get reported fast and furious, and I'm sure... You know, maybe Kaspersky, I'm sure. Well, it'd be smart of them to pay attention to a site like this. Uh, but I have had plenty of other antiviruses that just, you can load up all these links and they go right through them. But the best viruses that you can actually get are definitely from email. And, uh, of course, I, I started uh, this, this week doing these videos, you know, almost every day of the week, and... I got one virus out of a uh, oh, couple thousand couple thousand emails today, which was totally weird. All right, that one was blocked as well. Uh, let's do one more. Dun, 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 dun. K cleaner. Ooh, that's sneaky. Trying to piggyback on C Cleaner, I suppose. Let's try K Cleaner. Uh, I didn't even open that. So what is it talking about? Yeah, there's something going on. Something kind of got through. It's finding something. Oh, disinfect and restart computer. That's not a good sign. Something got in and now it's detecting it. Yeah, it's just this crap. Sure, go ahead, install everything you want. <laughs> uh, 
Okay. Well, I don't know. I think something might have got through because of this. Typically, you don't have to disinfect and restart the computer if you block something. So, all right, I'm going to um, stop it right there, and I'm not going to change a damn thing about this computer. We're going to go ahead and resume tomorrow evening. And uh, I wanted to say thanks for watching, but thanks for watching.